Click subscribe and bell icon to get regular notifications. Hello friends, I am Dr. Vishweshwaran. I am working as a consultant interventional pulmonologist and sleep specialist at Ashoda Hospital, Malakpet in Hyderabad. So as we all know that uh, in India, we are conducting the massive vaccination program against uh, COVID-19 infection. We have two vaccines that has been approved by the government of India for vaccinating the people. One is the COVID shield and another is the Covaxin. And as of now, as we all know that it is uh, COVID vaccination is being conducted in phases. In the phase one, all the healthcare workers and the frontline workers are going to get vaccinated. And eventually in following subsequent phases, the other people who are at a high risk of getting infection may get vaccinated. So if we see about the contraindications for the vaccine, as of now, pregnant women and lactating women are not included in the vaccination program. Apart from that, any person who has got any sort of allergic reactions or severe forms of allergic reactions to previous vaccination should not get vaccinated with the COVID vaccine. Or if you are allergic to any of the components related to the COVID vaccine, then again, you are not supposed to get vaccinated. Special precautions has to be taken for persons who are having uh, bleeding disorders or who, whose platelet counts are really low. These patients should also take specific precautions before getting vaccinated for COVID-19 infection. And uh, any patient who has got previously COVID infection active COVID infection or patient who has received any sort of plasma or patient who are acutely ill and requiring critical care support, these patients should take COVID vaccine only 4 to 8 weeks following recovery from the infection. These vaccines, both the COVID shield and the Covaxin, has gone through rigorous uh, safety standards before getting approved for vaccination for the healthcare workers and for the general public. So most of these vaccines are very, very safe and has been tested in big clinical trials. But however, during vaccination, you are bound to experience few mild side effects, which may be seen with any other vaccination also. The common side effects which you may perceive are one, you can have a severe pain at the injection site. Number two, you can have some sort of a slight uh, giddiness or uh, giddiness following vaccination or you can have some sort of a fever, low to uh, high grade fever following the vaccination which may last for a day or two and severe body ache can also be there. These are very common side effects which are experienced with almost all the vaccines and similarly for COVID-19 vaccine as well. But however, if you develop any sort of uh, neurological complications like uh, any sort of weakness or uh, other unexpected uh, side effects, then you have to report to your vaccination center immediately about this side effect. But in most of the cases, the vaccine is very, very safe and these side effects are experienced even with other vaccines as well. So following your vaccination, you, are, uh, you, you have to stay in the vaccination center for at least uh, half an hour to monitor for symptoms of any adverse events and uh, try to avoid uh, alcohol uh, following uh, vaccination and uh, try to have a good uh, sleep on the day following vaccination because you are you may be bound to have a slight fever or uh, severe body pains so try to have a good sleep following vaccination make sure that you get vaccinated uh, complete the course of vaccination the vaccination course is two vaccines 28 days apart and your immune response will start only 14 days following the second vaccination so if you take only one vaccination, you will not be immune. You need to take the second vaccination 28 days apart. Until that time, you have to remain protected with wearing mask and maintaining social distancing because you are still not, you are still vulnerable to getting COVID infection. And uh, apart uh, from that, you have to ensure that if you get vaccinated with one particular type of a vaccine like a COVID shield or Covaxin, the second vaccine should be of the same company and you should not interchange the vaccination during the follow-up vaccination regimen. Thank you.